a todos. It has been an incredible night. All the performances, thank you so much. Thank you, Hispanic, um, Tampa Hispanic Heritage, uh, for such a great event, but also for preserving our roots and cultures alive. That is awesome. I'm here not just representing my Mexico, but also representing all those ladies from every race. When I moved here to Tampa, the best thing that ever happened to me was joining the Latino Coalition of Tampa Bay. And I have my friends there. Here's what happened. Moving from California to Tampa was very difficult to me. Leaving my family, my friends, my hometown, my roots, very hard. So I started looking for a connection with the people. I started looking for mi gente. I joined the Latino Coalition of Tampa Bay around 20, 2012. After a few years of being on the sideline, I seen the different issues affecting our families. So I wanted to do more, so I joined the board. Be careful what you look, what you wish for, right? One of the first people that I'm very grateful for crossing my path is Lidia Medrano. Lidia. Since the beginning, she was my mentor, and she didn't even know it. I looked up for her, you know, at her for everything that she was doing, the relations that she was creating within the community. And that day came. One day at the meeting, she announced that she was retiring. And that was her last meeting at the coalition. She just abruptly turned out to me and she said, Monica is the chair of the Latino Coalition. That's Lydia. Michael Hyatt once said, if you don't have a plan for your life, somebody else does. So you see, some of us have a master plan for our lives, but some of us don't. But the important thing here is when a path is presented to you, don't be afraid to follow it. The easiest thing would have been for me to say no. I'm busy. Somebody else can do it. Another person is better than me. And a great example of that, we have it here tonight with Romy. It would have been so much easy for him to just keep driving the long distance to get treatment. But a path opened up for him, and he followed it. And now look at him and his wife, Gabby, so successful in his business, and not just benefiting him, but also so many other lives. So Lydia, thank you for opening that path for me. And thank you so much for your guidance and for being such a good role model to the community. Romy, thank you for your service. And thank you for all the sacrifices you have done just for us. Thank you. It's really hard to recognize your qualities on your own self. Well, it's, it's hard for me anyway. But that one thing I notice I'm good at is bringing people together. This has been a blessing. Because by doing this, I have been able to form incredible, incredible groups such as the Latino Coalition Board, SHAC, and with their help, we have been able to bring conferences and information for our community under different topics, you know, hurricane preparedness, leadership, education, health, census, and most recently about the disease that we're still facing, coronavirus, but as well as vaccination information. With the Sheriff's Hispanic Advisory Council in the past three years, we have been working very hard and mainly focusing on our Latino students. We created the first Sheriff's Hispanic Advisory Council STEM Endowment Scholarship with the Hillsborough County Community College. And I see them over there. Where we have more than $70,000 allocated for scholarships, and this is gonna be for a very long time. And that makes me so happy because I firmly believe that not only education is the key to, the real, to realize the American dream, 
but also the ability to follow your own dreams and your own personal calling, to do what's right, and to always be true to yourself. Give back even if it's in a small portion like uh, Mar uh, Marcia said, because it's not about what you give, but about making a difference in someone's life. But as you see, it's all part of a community effort. I have been at the front of these two and many other groups, but I cannot take credit for all these accomplishments. I have had plenty of support, and that support doesn't come just from my council board members or the community. I also have a great support at work. I am proud to be working for CarePlus, a company that also cares about the well-being of our families here in Florida. And my team is the best. <laughs> Starting from Neil Ramsey, my director, that gives me the freedom to attend some committees and my team in the office for listening to the crazy ideas and supporting my efforts in this community. Muchas gracias. We all are here in this country for different reasons. Some of us were born here and born and raised here, and some of us came from a different country. For my family, the reason was looking for a better education and a better quality, quality of life for their, for their children. And I will always be grateful for the sacrifices they have to endure to come to this great nation. Mama, Papa, Siempre estará agradecida por los sacrificios que pasaron para que nosotros tuviéramos un mejor futuro. Los amo. <laughs> to my husband, thank you for helping me out and understanding that sometimes I work on the weekends and after work without getting paid. <laughs> to my daughters, you are unique and have your own gifts to offer to the world. Never be afraid to follow your heart and do not dream about success. Work for it. So what brings us together? What brings a community together? The reality is we are all different. Black, white, gay, Catholic, Jewish, Democrats, Republicans. Even us Latinos, we have different ways of speaking, food, different music. However, deep down, we are all unified by having some of the same core values. We all care about family, freedom, loyalty, humanity, and we are all yearning to be accepted for who we are. There's so much we can do together. And heroes are ordinary people. People like Romy, people like so many of you sitting here together. We have to have the courage to fight for one another. And don't make any distinctions between black and white. And to know that strength lies in our differences, not in being similar. But if we together, if we unite together and work together, on a similar goal, it will be so powerful. So let's stop passing the ball around and become more accountable for our actions, for what we can do and what we can offer to one another. Let's start being more kind and more thoughtful, more thoughtful and more human. Let us start putting some good back into this world. And if you do not know how to start, just follow Walt Disney's advice. The way to get started is to quit talking and start doing. To my Latino ladies, I will say one thing that a very, very special lady said. She se puede. <laughs> Mi gente, this award is yours. This award is for el pueblo, for my community. Thank you so much, and please enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs>